Second trial for suspended Hamilton County Juvenile Court Judge Tracy Hunter is now being pushed back from June to September. Both sides want extra time to try to prepare. Approving such a change is usually routine, but there were some unexpected sparks in the courtroom today. Local 12's Jeff Hurst has the play by play. First of all, Ms. Hunter, you understand what's going on here today, correct? And from then, things went downhill, at least in tone, if not in content. Tracy Hunter was convicted on one felony last year. There was a hung jury on eight other counts, and the prosecution is going to retry her. Today's session concerned a delay. When Judge Patrick Dinkelacher asked Hunter if she understood what was going on, her response was, I understand a continuance. I'm a judge. Now, you may be saying to yourself, wait a minute, I watched all those Tracy Hunter stories. Wasn't Judge Norbert Nadel the judge in the Tracy Hunter trial? Well, yes, he was in the first trial. But Nadel retired at the end of 2014, and the case, the upcoming trial, was assigned to Judge Patrick Dinkelacher, which did not make Hunter very happy because back when Dinkelacher was on the Court of Appeals, he ruled against Hunter in some civil cases. So Hunter asked that Dinkelacher be disqualified from her upcoming trial. The state Supreme Court, though, said no. So when Dinkelacher asked Hunter if she was confident in her attorney, it ended up as more than just a standard courtroom Q&A. And we're on the same wavelength then. I don't want to get into this force thing. Not whatsoever. That's my job, and that's what I'm trying. That's why I'm asking you some questions. You don't ask or like for me to speak. That's why I'm a little shocked that you're questioning me this morning. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the first part. I, I didn't hear the first one. I'm sorry. Typically, you do not prefer that I speak, so I'm a little taken aback that you're requesting me to speak this morning. Okay. I don't think that's a fair statement, but we'll leave it at that. Okay. Hunter did express confidence in her lawyer, Clyde Bennett, but it took a few questions to get a direct answer. I think Judge Hunter was um, contemplating the question as compared to the underlying substance of the question. I think she was questioning the formality and the process of even questioning her regarding that issue. Ultimately, both the prosecution and the defense agreed to move the trial date from June 1st to September. We will be ready to try this case September the 8th. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News.